Once upon a time... <laughs> Now, where was I? The princess is in another castle. <laughs> or, or so I've been told. Now, uh, which castle? Uh, I, I, I don't recall. <gasps> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the... Oh. Who's responsible for keeping this thing clean for crying out loud? I can't even tell who I'm looking at. A slayer of dragons? Oh, if I have... Fever has returned and claimed some of the laborers, but not before they completed their task. Recovery of the beacon's soul gems is now imperative, as is the gathering of the final ingredients. The gems were scattered in an attempt to thwart me. My minions still have not been able to deliver them. Perhaps there is another way.
Outstanding! We've completed the pirate's death certificate. Whichever it is, matey, I was starting to think maybe you wasn't going to make it this far. <laughs> oh, oh, no, what's this? Ah, my death certificate. Yes, this is how I lost me treasure. A mutiny it were, a bunch of whiners. I always gave them a fair share. Say, matey, you found any of me lost treasure yourself? Well, if you do, you go ahead and keep half, which is 40%, you know. And just to show I'm a man of me word, I'll give you this here ring. It's a signet ring. Belonged to a member of that Order of Shadows, it did. <laughs> Use it well, and if, I, I mean, when you come back, right. I'll cut you in for half the loot. Like I said, a full 30%. In fact... I could always use a good first mate. Uh, that is, if you're still in need of gainful employment when this is all over. Uh, keep that in mind. Half of the loot for me first mate. Twenty percent and not a penny less. <laughs> hmm. The markings on this ring seem familiar. <gasps> the foyer. That's it? This ring is the key to the device in the foyer. We must return there.
<laughs> good, good. You've brought them to me. You will never get away with destroying the afterlife, as long as we're here, Thorn. <laughs> afterlife? My dear sweet Leota, think you that my ambitions stop merely at death's door? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Why settle with conquering the realm of the dead, when the land of the living is practically within my reach? No more of this confusing life after life after death nonsense. I'm afraid from now on, it's just death, death, and more death. <laughs> Zeke, the beacon! I'll be taking that if you don't mind. Your efforts are greatly appreciated, Zeke. You've collected a great deal of souls for me, not to mention all of the legendary soul gems. And thank you, my loyal minions, for giving yourselves willingly to my cause. With the energy of these souls, I will have enough power to bring darkness and decay over the heavens and the earth. No! I won't be needing this trinket anymore. Truly. Everything that lives dies, if you give it enough time. But patience, I'm afraid, is one of the many virtues you'll find that I, well, lack. From the mightiest king to the tiniest sparrow, all will become nothing but ashes, dust, and food for worms. Ah, yes. In the end. The worm conquers all. And my feast has just begun. Oh. I'm afraid your precious beacon is quite powerless without its crystal core. Well, well, what are you doing? Oh, the souls! This suffering is beautiful, powerful, but there's still room for at least one more!
Mustad, the wind knocked right out of his sails. Oh dear, he's... he's gone. It was an honor to have served with him. Bravest fella I ever met. He did sort of grow on you after a while, poor little beggar. Atticus Thorn and the Order of Shadows will trouble us no more. Thanks to you, Zeke, and Madam Leota. Leota? Madam Leota, are you there? Woohoo! Take that, you bloated sack of souls! What? It's over already? Did we win? Yes, yes, it's over. And everything's fine. More than fine now. They're free, Leota. The souls. You freed them all. <laughs> With their troubles finally put to rest, the ghosts resolve to haunt the mansion together. For now and ever after, I made up my mind to stay on for a time as caretaker of the estate. And afterwards, with the blessing of Madame Leota and the others, I continued to pursue my dream of becoming a writer. Only many years later did I come to understand how, on that dreary October afternoon, when I first opened the door to that haunted mansion, I had opened the door to the rest of my life.